Hi guys, thanks for joining us here today. My name is Max Hahn. I'm the marketing director here at Buy Sales Technologies, one of the leading LTE and 5G hardware manufacturers in the space today. Uh, we're gonna be doing some unboxing videos today, actually talking about one of our most powerful units that we have on the market currently. Uh, so without further ado, let's just get into it. So today we're going to be talking about the Nova 846. It is a outdoor two carrier base station, eight by five watts of power, the four by four MIMO. Uh, it works on CBRS Spectrum and this is a big boy. It weighs almost 20 pounds. Uh, we actually have one over here. Let me see if I can get it. As you can see, it's really big. Uh, this operates on CBRS Spectrum, as I said, so band 48, but it also operates on 2.5 gigahertz. So this is our Nova 846. It is a very big base station. It operates on bands 41 and 48. So if you got a 2.5 gigahertz license or you're operating in CBRS, either one, you can use this. This is currently our most powerful base station. And what I mean by that is that this one has the most power behind it, which means it can transmit data the farthest through the most amount of trees. Now, if you're unfamiliar, LTE was built for outdoor wireless communication. So it's great for getting through in non-line of sight areas, like if you have to get through trees. And how this works is the propagation characteristics behind LTE allows the signal to hit those leaves kind of retract and then find its way back to the CPE. That's an incredibly simplified explanation of it, but just so you know, LTE is great for non-line of sight. So this base station, as I said, very large, but you know, compared to a lot of other macro sites, it's not that heavy. Uh, it is a plug and play base station. It is operational with our cloud core uh, EPCs and OMC management system. So it's very easy to set up, very easy to get going. If you want to customize the core, other elements like that, absolutely possible, but right out of the box, you can get up and running with this bad boy. So the Nova 846 can operate in either CA or DC modes. So what that means is CA mode means carrier aggregation, where you take each carrier within this radio and you're able to aggregate uh, channel throughput, even through discontinuous channels, which allows you to get a lot more bandwidth out of the channel itself or it can operate in DC mode or dual carrier mode where each one of the carriers in here act as an independent radio, allowing you to connect more subscribers. So when we're connecting this base station, you can either use one eight port antenna, as you can see up here, there's nine ports. This one over here is for our GPS unit, or you can use two four port antennas, um, depending on which way you use it. So if you use it in CA mode, you'll probably want to use an eight port antenna, right? If you're using DC mode, you'll want to have two four port antennas. So that way you can point them in separate directions and be able to get more users on there. So a general way to think about it is CA mode is if you want more throughput, DC mode is if you're looking to get more uh, people connected onto your radio itself. Uh, so talking about number of folks that you can connect onto this Nova 846. So this base station has a maximum capacity of 128 users per cell. So that means you can connect 256 users total if you're using this in DC mode. So it does do very well in outdoor environments. You're able to go very far and you're able to get great throughput along with great capacity connectivity here. Uh, this unit does come with Halo B included and houses the MME portion of the EPC directly on the base station. So it's, it's just kind of a security net that you're able to have on the base station. So when we're talking about installation, we already discussed the antenna situation, but really where you're gonna see this unit being used is typically in more rural areas or areas where you need a lot of throughput. Um, it does need to be installed up high on a tower with the antennas pointing out into the areas that you are projecting to get that service. So like I said, since this is such a high power unit, it's great for rural areas with lots of trees where you need to get far distances in order to connect those subscribers on your edge. Uh, but now we're going to dive into what's actually else in the box. Are the mounting units, are the power things, you know, all the fun stuff that everybody likes to play with. Uh, so let's get that started. Alright, here's everything in the box. Uh, as you can see, there's a 
well, there's a couple of pieces here, so let's go through them one by one. So first you got your mounting bracket. Uh, pretty big, but it is a big unit, so it makes sense that that's so sizable. Um, then you have all these shrink wraps to help. Are these shrink wraps? Shrink tubes. Shrink tubes. And you got all these shrink tubes. So these go around the port of the antenna to help weatherproof it there. So you got one for every single port there. So you're all set, you don't have to go buy any more, which is great. You got your power supply. You can tell a lot of power needed for this unit. So this is quite big. Then you have your port for your power. So that way you can plug the unit in. And then last but not least, this unit comes equipped with a GPS on top as well make your life easy. This space station includes everything that you need in order to get going, minus the ethernet to actually provide uh, the internet to the unit itself and any antennas that you would need. So that's important considerations to take in mind while you're actually building out your deployment site. Um, we do have several partners that we work with uh, very closely that are able to provide the antennas for such a large unit. So that's pretty much everything about the Nova 846. If you guys have any additional questions or just want to do some digging in on your own, you can always take a look at our website. There's a day sheet that has all the technical specifications on there. So feel free to take a look. If you want to know more about the product itself and actually set up a call with us, feel free to reach out to our sales team. Great resource for us and they're always happy to talk to anybody. All right, thank you guys for joining us here today. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please feel free to hit that subscribe button down there, hit a like, uh, leave a comment. All that engagement is always helpful. And otherwise we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks. So this operates just like any other buy sells product. So like all buy sells product, this one can actually hook up. <laughs> oh, deep breath, drink the water.